you want to do with your hair? Well, nah, we're going to <laughs> what you want to do with it. I'm letting you experiment on me. Uh, we're going to do the wave. We're good. Oh, you want to do waves? Okay. Say less. Hmm. It's not looking like this is going to be easy, but it'll definitely be worth it. As long as we can both stay awake, and as long as we can figure out where to put his hairline, I think we should be pretty good with this one. So like it said in the title, today we're gonna give my dad hair. We're gonna apply some bundles. It's gonna be like a man unit, but straight from the hair store. The hair supply store hair. We are going to prep the scalp and we're gonna apply this directly to the scalp. So we're gonna give him hair and see how realistic we can make it look today. And I'm gonna talk you through it and walk you through it like we normally do. So the first step we're gonna do is spray the skin protectant on the scalp and then wipe that off to make sure it's super clean and protected. So here's a section of hair that I cut out of the pack. I'm gonna break this up, but we're gonna make sure that we layer it so that it looks as close to what waves would look like coming out of the scalp. So we're gonna apply our adhesive and we're gonna make sure we get everything cut up to lay down. All right, so the goal here is to lay these all with the curl directions placing towards where we want them to go. So like if he had 360 waves, they'd be radiating from the top of his crown towards his hairline in every direction. So that's what we're doing here. We're layering this in, starting with the under layers, and then we're gonna add some bundles on top and see if we can cut them in. Cause this is an experiment, a project, seeing what it looks like. So here we go. Pops was starting to fall asleep about a layer and a half in, so we had to go ahead and make sure we got him tilted back because a lot of us barbers know how that is. It's like, okay, we'll just let you go to sleep so we can work until we need you to move around. Let me swap this camera angle around though so you can see what we're doing. Look, uh, from the back side here, you can see how we're layering the layers on top of each other. And then I'm hoping that the crown will be able to just cut into the front of the hairline, kind of like you would with a regular haircut. So the way those first two layers looked, I got all excited. I was like, okay, cool. Let's put in a big panel. Let's put in a thick one. See that? I think so that was a little bit too thick. So we had to spread that out get it blow dried to make sure that everything was actually going to stick <laughs> but uh just make sure that you don't layer those on as thick as i did right here you'll see why a little bit further into the video
I see I really wanted to swirl the crown as we were applying this and look at me getting carried away again, adding a whole nother layer on top of these other layers that we may or may not even be able to cut, but we're going for it. Man, look at me all happy, man, expecting this to go smooth. We got the Frederick Douglass hairstyle going and we're about to get started with the cutting. So cool, freehand, get the big stuff out of the way. That's what we're doing right here. We're gonna knock some of this stuff out of his face and figure out where the heck his hairline is gonna be. So we'll start off keeping everything just so that once we get it cut down and we can see it a little bit better, we will make his hairline crispy. So we freehanded this thing all the way down until this level. So if you can see, we got it down to where there were some curls left underneath. So I have to spread these out individually but those guards they were not cutting through this so it was pulling them back off the scalp and everything so it just wasn't really the right setup for the guards to go through like they just got tangled kind of trying to comb through this kind of hair when it's not actually coming out of the scalp it was a lot different than a regular haircut On these tapers, we had the same issue with the clipper. The hair was still stuck to the scalp, so it wasn't like it was growing out and we could cut it lower. So what we ended up having to do is remove some of the glue. So look, we are using some of the glue remover, put it on a towel, wiping some of this through, and then pretty much texturizing through those hairs down there with a the trimmer, and some of it even with the comb to pull those hairs all the way off just so that we can give it some dimension. And then you'll see us do some uh, clipper over comb after we add these enhancements so that you just don't see all the way straight through to a scalp. Ah, here it is. Here's one of my favorite parts again. Uh, falling in love with different parts of barbering is kind of cool as you go along because clipper over comb can save you some time on a taper. Man, instead of switching out 15 different guards and trying to work them up, just make sure that you have the hairs placed where you want them to be placed. Place the comb where you want it and then take the hairs off. So hopefully that'll save somebody else some time too, but we're going to definitely texturize through that and make it look like a taper, even though those hairs are not coming out of his scalp, which is what I'm used to. So as we finish getting him sprayed down and fibered down, we're gonna move around to the back and start detailing some of these waves out just to make sure that they're as busting as we can get them per this haircut same day waves. So from the back, uh, you'll be able to see what the wave pattern looks like, the way we laid them down. So we're gonna have to fill in a couple of spots just you know, with the grain, laying the new waves on top of the old waves with the grain. But you'll be able to see that right here.
So here are those new waves I was talking about because we have a light spot and we want to make sure that it looks right. So right here, we're just gonna wet this do-rag down just so that we can see if that helps lay the waves down together a little bit better. So we're gonna spray that down. We're gonna dry it back out and we wanna set these waves, but I don't know what this synthetic material is gonna do. So we're gonna find out. Look at this, they came out crispy. Not crispy like I wanted, they came out crispy like ramen noodles with glue on them. But you can't tell that from looking at them. So this is me trying to figure out, okay, how am I gonna cut this now? So uh, the glue hardened a little bit more across the hairline and we hadn't fully touched that up. So I was gonna see what happens when we use the razor and everything in the trimmers, uh, but they they weren't having it. So we did end up having to move some stuff around again. Right now I'm just free handing any of those little loose hairs off, but you'll see once we get to the hairline, which we're about to get into, what that looks like. So we got most of this done, but we did not get this straightened all the way out right here. So what we're gonna have to do is come back to it because right now it's making more sense just to make sure everything's knocked down, detailed, come back to that. Now, sometimes it's better just to come back to something when you got other sections to work on still. So we're gonna do clipper over comb on the back part right here after we finish up shaping up everything behind the ear. regular haircut my best friend has been my razor for the detail work but on this haircut my best friend's been the glue remover so make sure you get that if you're doing any type of installation like this make sure you do get the glue remover and I would not recommend putting glue on any part of the scalp or skin that you do not want hair to stick to I know that sounds simple but don't put it over the top of the hairline because then you'll have to take it back off just cut them down So now that we got some of this glue off, we're gonna try and get this back straight with the trimmer. So we had to get the glue from underneath the hairs in order to be able to cut the hairs and make them straight. Now the only other thing we're gonna do is slide and cut these with the grain just to make sure that we got everything exactly where we want it. So other than that, we're getting really close to the end. We're gonna knock 
the rest of these hairs off. We're going to like dust them off of him, uh, see what he looks like, see what he thinks about the haircut. And then we're going to show you the before and after again. So I had to spin him around and show him the mirror a few times before we got this nod of approval right here. Look. Yeah. He even said he didn't think anybody would know if they didn't see him come in bald. So I don't know. You tell me, what do you think down in the comments? If you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe, uh, like this video and support the channel. Cause this is what I do. This is what we do full time. So. Appreciate you stopping by and I will talk to y'all soon.